Hi, I'm Eddie with Hilltop Camper and RV, and today we're going to be looking at a 2022 Jayco J Flight 32 BHDS. I'm going to start up front here, show you some things on the side here, and then we'll head on inside. First thing I notice up front here is we're going to find a uh, pass through storage here. Good size, you can fit a lot of things inside there. Uh, above that here on the marker light, you're gonna find that it is prepped for side view cameras. So we'll find side view cameras that you could install. Otherwise you can also do a rear view camera. Uh, this particular one does have the fiberglass option. So it is a fiberglass exterior here. As we walk back here, we'll also notice that we're gonna have a thermal package. What that is, is the enclosed belly underneath that's insulated and uh, covered there for weather, um, hopefully varmints, things like that. You got a mount out here for an outdoor TV. You've got a spot for the cable or satellite hookup there if you do a TV. You've got your fresh water here. On the other side, we're gonna find our city water connection there. It is prepped for an outdoor griddle, which if it came with it, you've got a post that comes off the side here with a little table, and then a griddle sits on top of that. And then underneath here, you'll find an LP hookup for that. One thing you'll notice here is we've got a Goodyear sticker. This comes with Goodyear brand tires. Uh, we've got an awning that's gonna span basically the whole side of the trailer. They come out about eight feet. Uh, also, you'll find two marine grade speakers outside. Uh, you'll see you've got a secondary entrance here. We'll talk about that on the inside, but what that is is just a secondary entrance that goes right to the bathroom. So if you've got young children, it's nice to just go in one door. you are not tracking in uh, sand, dirt, anything like that. You'll see this big baggage door here. What this is, is an outdoor kitchen, which we'll find a strictly electric refrigerator, as well as you find a sink that does plumb into a, a gray tank underneath here. So it's not just dumping out on the ground and making a mess at the site. You'll also find storage cabinets outside here as well. You've got outlets here if you wanted to plug in a crock pot or a blender or anything like that. What you'll find on the back of the trailer is gonna be a ladder that's mounted there. What's nice about that is it gets you easy access to the roof to do any kind of maintenance you would have or clean off the top. All right, let's walk in the trailer. You'll notice here that we've got the more ride steps, which are very secure. They are adjustable so that you can get it set to the correct height. Uh, very easy to use and again, very, very sturdy. As we walk into the J-Flight 32B HDS, you're gonna notice a big nice TV here that will actually spin around to the bedroom here. And then you've got a mirror on the other side when it's set up in the bedroom there. When you wanna get back to the living room area, it spins right back around here and then locks into place for travel. Uh, looking down here, we've got cabinets for say movie storage, game storage, uh, you could even put some shoes in there. You do also have a spot underneath here that would be your shoe storage. So you can kick your shoes off, throw them underneath there so you're not tripping over them. Uh, on both sides, entering the bedroom, you do have pocket doors. What's nice is it closes it off so it's like a, an actual bedroom there. Uh, we do have this one optioned out with the theater seating, which is reclining. It is manual, but you pull a button there and the your leg rest will kick open there. You've got storage in between for deck of cards if you wanted to, remote controls, anything like that. As we look over here into the kitchen area, we're gonna find full extension drawers. These are rated at 75 pounds a piece, and again, are full extension. So you get to maximize storage and drawer space there. You will have a double sink here with faucet that'll extend there to wash the dishes there. This particular one is in what they call the modern farmhouse decor. So what you see is you've got kind of the distressed white color cabinets, and that's what your modern farmhouse is. Uh, one thing you'll see above me here is gonna be a skylight. 
that is now mandatory in all J flights. So you get a nice skylight here that'll let in some natural light, as well as it's got a shade there to cover that if it's too bright outside. Uh, here in the kitchen, we'll also have an oven with a flush mount uh, oven there, or stove top. This will fold up here. It'll kind of double as a backsplash, as well as it folds up again to give you that more counter space because it sits nice and flush there. You've got lights here. You got an RV oven that'll run off propane. Uh, you got microwave, you got hood vent, hood fan that will actually vent outside. So we'll pull any kind of cooking orders out of the camper here. Uh, you do have, this one's equipped with a 12 volt fridge. This is a 10 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge. Uh, also next to that, you will have a pantry that's got built in shelves to store things there. Across from that, you're gonna find a big U-shaped dinette that would also double as a bed. Uh, you've got storage underneath that U-shaped dinette. You've got door front here, so it's easy access there. Otherwise you can gain access from the top here. This table will be freestanding. So you can turn it either way you'd like. It'll also kind of scissor down so you could use it as a coffee table in front of the uh, theater seating if you wanted to. You see all, kind of, all kinds of lights here, nice looking fixtures, just gives you that home feel. Let's head into the bedroom here. All right, so as far as sleeping in the back bedroom here, you've got a single bunk that will fold up and that's rated at 300 pounds. You've got the Sofa here that'll fold out on both sides into one big bed or single beds on each side there. You've got an oversized single bunk across the way here. Underneath that, you've got a spot for a TV, little cubbies for storage, and then it also comes in with a built-in ladder here for the kids to get up into the bunk. Hidden back here also is a little cubby for the, the kids' stuff. In a Jayco, you will also find that there's heating and air ducts in every room. So in the ceiling here, we're gonna find uh, air ducts. On the floor, we're gonna find heat ducts. So in the bathroom, we're gonna find a little tub and shower. Above that, you're gonna find a skylight. What that comes in handy for is to give you a little more headroom. Uh, you'll have a medicine cabinet that is built into the wall there. You'll have its own sink, and you'll also have a porcelain foot flush stool. You will find an exterior door in the bathroom just so kids can get in and out without tracking through the whole trailer. Like we talked in the bedroom, the back bunk area there, you will have heat and air conditioning in every room. So therefore the bathroom will have heat and air in it as well. All right, here's the master bedroom. What we're gonna find is we're gonna find overhead compartments for storage. We're gonna find compartments on each side for storage as well. You're gonna find shelving on both sides there. Uh, also on each side, you're going to find that you've got outlets. So if you wanted to plug a, a cell phone into, or if you wanted to plug any kind of a sleep machine into that, you can do that. This is a residential size queen bed. So this is 60 wide by 80 long. I point that out because regular sheets would fit that. Or if you ever wanted to swap mattresses out in the future, you can do that. Hidden underneath here is going to be storage, where you'll find little cubbies where you can hide duffel bags, or other bigger things that you would use up there. Also, you will find, like we had talked about in the other rooms, you're gonna have air conditioning ducts in here as well as heat ducts. Uh, right across from the bathroom, you will find another wardrobe. Uh, you've got hanging space there. So if you had extra jackets, things like that that you wanted to hang, you can use that closet for that. You'll notice that Jacob puts this decal on the outside here that says two plus three. What that is is Jacob's warranty. You've got a two-year warranty on every component on the inside of the trailer, and you've got a three-year structural uh, warranty on that. Uh, I wanted to thank you guys for watching the video on the 2022 J-Flight 32 BHDS. Let us know if you have any questions.